Hello again, Parson Fair users, and welcome to the fourth video in our 2021 series. So this week we're mixing up the topics a little bit, and we're going to show you how to organize your property research using lists in Parcel Fair. So this is taking a short break from our recent videos where we showed you different ways to search for specific types of properties and specific tax scenarios using Parcel Fair. So we'll get back to those videos, but we've had a lot of questions about lists recently, and I wanted to take the time to show everyone how to use them. So before we get started, as always, I want to encourage you to invest in yourself and your skills and take the time to become more efficient and organized in your research. And remember when you're learning something new, maybe it's a strategy or a tool or a concept, and it can be difficult at first, but the best way to master that skill is to do it more often. And that repetition is gonna refine your skill and will pay back dividends over time. So on that note, this year at Parcel Fair, we're continuing our series of short focused videos each week that target one topic for you to learn more about. And with that in mind, let's move on to our topic for this week. Organizing your property research using lists and parcel fair. So a lot of our users have given us feedback about our favorites tracking. And so on this home screen, you'll see my favorites. It's a way you can look at a list of favorites that you've tracked over your research. And the way you add a favorite is clicking this blue button. When you're looking at a property, you just do that and now it's tracked as a favorite. So easy enough, but the problem is that people were adding properties to their favorites for many reasons and losing track of why it was in their favorites and it was becoming a bit of a dumping ground for properties. Maybe they added it to favorites because they wanted to keep an eye on a property to follow up on later. Uh, maybe they wanted to purchase it or they've applied for the property so they added it to favorites. It could be that they sent a check in the mail and wanted to have a follow-up, so they put it in favorites for that reason. Uh, maybe they wanted to show it to a friend and added it to favorites. And it could even be a property that they wanted to drive out to and check out in person or send a scout to get some photos, and so they would add it to the favorites just so they wouldn't lose it. And of course, favorites got so big that we were losing properties anyways because it was just a big list of properties without a real meaning. So to clean this up and give you more ways to organize your property research, we created lists. And just to side note, these lists, they will work on any property, any state, or any inventory that you can find in Parcel Fair. So for the purposes of today, we're looking at Alabama, and I'll show you how to go to the list. You'll see there's a My List option underneath Tools now. And you go to that and you'll see this message that I don't have any lists yet because I'm simulating what would happen if you don't have any lists yet. So you'll see this too when you have just getting started. So here's how you would add something to a list. We've got this property that we put in our favorites, but let's say that we want to go here and <clears throat> I'm going to create a new list under my list that says purchased because let's pretend that I purchased this property and now I say I purchased it. And then I also want to keep a list. I want to show this property to Greg later. So I'm going to add to a list called for Greg. And then I want to do a follow up on it later too. So I'm going to add it to a follow up list. So I just put that property inside of three different lists that I created on the fly. So if we go back to the my list screen, now we've got three lists to choose from. And any one of these I can click my purchased list or my for Greg list or my follow up list and see the properties that are in there. And so from this screen, what I can do, I can remove a property by clicking this red button. I can view the property's details by clicking on the parcel number. There's other information here that I might just take a glance at. And this green button on the top right, I can also export this list to a CSV and open it in Excel as a spreadsheet. I can also delete a list if I just, let's say I don't need the follow-up list anymore. I'm just gonna delete the whole list. And let's pretend I wanna rename my purchase list to something else. I can rename it like that. 
And so now that I've got my properties in lists, there's one more thing I want to show you. I can go to the map, and if I want to go find those properties inside of my purchase list on the map, we've added a way to do that through the Quick Searches tab. And if you open up the quick search options, you can see my list purchased right here. And it just loaded one parcel. There it is. That's the property that I put in the list. So that's everything you can do with a list today to help you organize your property research. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or send us a message over at parcelfair.com and I will drop a contact link in the form below. And if you want to get these videos every week and be notified when they come out, be sure to subscribe.